Hey, this is Alex from MyPhotoEssential.com and today we want to do a case study of our restaurant photo shoot. We often get booked to shoot restaurants and food for the menus. So this is one of those cases when we had to come in and uh, adapt to the job. We usually shoot inside the restaurant so we can get a nice feel of the place as the backdrop. But they're going to do a renovation of this place soon, so there's no reason to do that. Plus, they didn't want to distract the clients with strobe lights. If I'm shooting, in the restaurant place with the clients inside i would usually just use continuous lighting but since we got stuck in here and basically a closet uh, we opted for a, a strobe light system Uh, here's our light setup. Uh, here's the main softbox. It's a medium-sized softbox. I would have liked to have a second softbox on the other side as well, but unfortunately I couldn't find my second softbox, so I opted in for an umbrella. It also spreads line, light evenly, illuminates the subject very similarly, although <coughs> it diffuses the light a little bit more, but it's, it was good enough, as you can see on some of the images, it spreads the line just fine. The, there's also another backlight. They're all set to minimum power. So they just, all I needed is a lot of light on the subject and keep as much light away from the background so it's not, so it's as dark as possible. Of course, on our very large budget photo shoots, people use food stylists, but we usually don't do that. Uh, first of all, to save money, and second of all, we just try to make it look as natural as possible. It usually comes out of the kitchen looking very nice and succulent and steamy. So we try to shoot it as soon as it comes out of the oven so it's nice and hot. And this fish is already a little stale because it's been sitting here for a while. We also prop our uh, plates to face the camera with something. You, you can either use plates or we just found these uh, cup holders, coffee cup holders here so we'll just put it underneath the plate. It, uh, depending on how much of an angle you need, you might pop it higher, but remember that some of the juices might, might flow down and it can look weird. So always look at all the fluids on your plate. Workflow for such photo shoots is very simple. We can uh, come in, set the lights up. There's two options for the lights. We can either use continuous lighting if uh, we're shooting with clients inside the restaurant so we don't distract people with strobes or we use strobe lighting if we're shooting somewhere in the back room. Uh, I also I love shooting with a hundred millimeter lens. This is my favorite lens. This is Canon macro lens. If you're shooting food I would recommend doing macro since it would pick up it would pick up all the details on your photography and you can get really close to the subject and get all those juices in the in, in your photo. Uh, 
plus you get a nice long focal length so you have a narrow field of view if for example if I was shooting with anything like uh, 50 millimeter here I would get a really wide angle here and all of this would be in the frame and it would be really uncomfortable to crop it out later in post. If you want to get into food photography and want to get similar jobs like these, the benefits are pretty awesome. You don't have to work with people, you don't have to uh, control emotions or anything like this. You just set still life photography and shoot as you like. If you want to get into that, I would recommend just shooting f food at your own place first to so build up a little bit of a portfolio. You can even use daylighting if you don't have any fancy lighting setups. You can put uh, the uh, the plate right next to your window, get a reflector, get a little bit of that reflection shining on the other side, get nice close-up uh, foot shots with a macro, preferably macro lens with a long focal length if possible, and just get that portfolio printed and go out into restaurants and tell them that you can do similar images, that you can help their business boost, that you can help people see exactly what the, the dishes coming out of the kitchen would look like. Personally, I love when I go in a restaurant, I open a menu and I see how my dish is going to look like once it comes out of the kitchen. Sometimes it's a complete guess and sometimes it doesn't even come close to my expectations. Sometimes it exceeds my expectations, so I love to see food images. Also, I hate when they lie and they show an image of a dish that whatever comes out of the kitchen it does not look like that at all so anyway I got in a bit of a tangent there but basically what I'm saying if you can prove to the business owner that you can make their business grow and expand with your images and show them good portfolio you're more than likely gonna get hired